In this video, I will show you how to create a mobile layout for your website using Web Starts. To get started, load the page editor. That's what we're looking at here. When you're ready, click on the mobile editor icon and you will be in the mobile editor. It's important to remember that there's limited screen space on mobile devices. So when creating your mobile layout, you need to put the most important aspects of your website front and center. They should be easy to read and easy to tap from that mobile device. For this reason, there might be some things in your mobile website that you don't want to display, but you do want them to appear in your desktop website. If that's the case, select an element that you would like to remove from your mobile view, then click the hide icon. Once an element's hidden, it will appear under the hidden icon in the left sidebar. You can make that element visible again by clicking on the visibility icon. It's important to remember that you cannot add new elements while in the mobile editor. To add a new element to your page, you must first return to the desktop editor. From there, you'll add your new element, like for example, a text box or a form or really anything that you would like to be displayed, and then click on the mobile editor view and then that newly added element will appear under the hidden icon on the left sidebar. Make it visible by clicking on the visibility icon. Just like in the desktop version, you can drag and drop elements in the mobile editor where you'd like them to appear. But unlike the desktop version, you have limited ability to change the properties of a specific element. For example, you can adjust the size of the text, but you can't adjust the color. If you'd like to adjust the color, you must first return to the desktop editor. We do this so that your site will look consistent both in the desktop and mobile view. Selecting an element will allow you also to change the layer position of that specific element. So you can send them to the back, bring them to the front, send them back a single layer, or bring them forward a single layer. You can also resize any element by value by clicking on the resize by value icon and then entering the width and height in pixels. When you're ready, click OK and that change is applied. If you want to change the background of your mobile layout, click on the design tab, click on background, choose a background color specifically for your mobile view and also choose whether you'd like to apply a background image specifically for your mobile view. By default, your mobile view will not be enabled. So people visiting your website will not see the mobile version of your site from their mobile devices until you enable those mobile layout pages. You can do that by clicking on the manage icon and then switching the toggle into the enabled position. Anything that you place in the header or footer, just like in the desktop version, will be displayed on each page of your mobile layout. As always, be sure to save and publish your changes by clicking the save icon. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own mobile website and see more helpful videos like this.